hey guys what is up welcome back to my channel how cute is this <laughs> i am going to take you guys inside of walmart with me today i have not been in a very long time so i wanted to come by and see um what they have new in the nail aisle if anything oh my gosh i'm forgetting my purse um yeah so we're gonna go in walmart go down the nail aisle see what they got going on and i'm taking you guys along with me i was actually able to talk during this video because they weren't playing music but the background noise was so loud you can barely hear what i'm saying so this is a voiceover I have shown you guys the inside of this Walmart before, but it has been a while. The last time I was here, the polish was in this aisle. So that's why I'm looking around like, uh, where is it? <laughs> but um, I walk around the corner and I ended up spotting this Sinful Colors um, Sweeties polish. Now, all the collection on here is not the Sweeties collection. It's a lot of mixed ones. Y'all know how Walmart does. It never has what it's supposed to have on the shelf most of the time <laughs> but some of the polishes on here was from her collection um i only picked up one and when i checked out the price was like a dollar 98 i believe i got one of these sheer mattes so y'all may notice that I do not pick up a lot of polish to purchase. I used to do it all the time. I would get every single color in the new Sinful Colors collection that they had or whatever other polish I wanted. I would just get all the colors that I like. So I've been doing so good at not doing that anymore. I've been doing YouTube for about four years, maybe five or going on five, which is it sounds so sad because I rarely have views and subscribers to be on that long. <laughs> but um, back then, like, you know, I used to buy so much polish at a time. It was ridiculous. So now I'm just trying to clear my collection up a little bit. Get rid of my old polish. Polish I don't use. Um, and then I want to start collecting some new fresh stuff and more gel polish since I'm really liking gel polish now as well. Um, and just trying to freshen it up. So I'm trying to go easy on buying so many polishes right now since the ones I have, I just don't use them enough to keep putting polish on top of polish on top of polish and I'm barely using I probably have like... I don't know how many y'all 200 or something polishes or maybe more than that probably 300 i don't know but it's just too many and i need to you know get that down a little bit <laughs> this is the color that i mentioned that i picked up earlier i got that pink one and i think this this color is pretty cool i'm kind of wishing that i would have got that that's really a cool color um but yeah so they had a nice collection of um glue on or press on nails i didn't know salon perfect had press on nails um i never seen those mirror effect ones either so those were nice and these were really cute the modern art these were also salon perfect um they had a lot of cute nails actually so i first seen these accent charms on baby girl nails youtube channel she was using them to do a set of nails and they turned out really cute um, I'm going to show you guys exactly where those are a little bit later in the video. Um, if you guys have tried these Kiss Color Powder Dip sets, let me know because I have not tried the uh, dip powders yet and I do want to. So I was thinking about picking up a Kiss set just for practice and testing it out. So if you guys have tried those, let me know. If you have not and you want to see me test it out, make sure to comment and let me know or give this video a like these la colors glue on nails were cute i want to try that marble look design one day so keep an eye out for that i'm going to practice that soon <laughs> they had the impress mini uh nail artist kit and the little nails here that i showed you guys in cvs they were um actually cheaper here at walmart than at cvs i think they were eight dollars and here they were like six seven bucks Does anyone remember when the price of these Sally Hansen Insta Dries used to be much less than four to five bucks? 
and the extreme sally hansen extremes used to be like a dollar fifty or so and then the sally hansen hardest nails the ones at the bottom they should be like 99 cents Every time I see this Miracle Gel uh, two-step or whatever it's called, I keep gravitating to it and picking it up, wanting to get it. But it's like nine bucks, I think, and I have heard it doesn't work all that great, so I always put it back. If you tried it, let me know in the comments what you think about it. So I was thinking about getting this nail aid serum, but I've been wanting to make my own cuticle oil. And I priced the jojoba oil. I don't know if I'm saying that right. And the vitamin E there at Walmart, it was like five to six bucks. So I might pick up some oils and try to make my own. If not, I'm gonna go back and grab that. <laughs> if you guys are not new to my channel, then you know I have a couple of the nail aids. I have the carotene and I have the one that's hard as acrylic. So I was thinking about getting that biotin one. Probably on my next walmart visit i heard that it does work pretty good so here is where the queen accent charms were they also had the latex tape which i think i've tried this before i think i have some and it works pretty good and the nail stamp fun kit i have not tried that yet also some cbs's carries the queen latex tape and that nail stamp kit now this Salon Perfect gel pen, I have had my eye on every time I go to Walmart, but I never pick it up because I really haven't heard any reviews on it and I just hate to spend the money for something that doesn't work that good, but it is on my list and I just may have to get it the next time I go. I could not resist this orange color mania LA colors. It's like the perfect summer color, perfect for like toes, even nails too, but I think it's a good summer toe color. <laughs> But here is the display with the other colors. As you can see, a lot of them were gone, but they were $1.97, I believe. So I picked up two. They have a cuticle oil similar to this. I think it's actually the same one, just smaller at five below for five bucks. I think here it was six or seven dollars, somewhere around there. What do you guys think of nail strips or nail wraps? I haven't used them in a very long time, so it's been a while for me, but what do y'all think? Do you guys use them? This is the last display I spotted with Winnie Harlow on it, that girl from America's Next Top Model. But I like how this display at the top had what the different formula uh, finishes are. This display did not have any like new collection on it. It just had a bunch of every simple color collection on it. For some reason, I went and picked up the only la colors color craze that i've seen on it <laughs> that wasn't a new one though but yeah this is it you guys i hope you enjoyed it if you want to see more like it hit that thumbs up subscribe and i will show you guys what i got in the next video